and we're rolling so we're back i'm back whatever um with november coming up with all the crazy shit going down i think that there's one book that i really wanted to review uh with that being said um let's check out on tyranny 20 lessons from the 20th century by timothy snyder Read value on this is exponential. Uh, it it never gets old. I feel like I'm always taking from this um, because there's conversations that come from this. There's there's philosophical ideas that you kind of want to discuss and what it is and what it means to be patriotic in the United States today. Um, and, and there's just so much. There's so much to unpack here. Now, at the end of this video, I do want to send this book to one of you for free. I'll, I'll just ship it to your address. Tell me your address. Um, and, and I will ship it to you um, if that doesn't freak you out. Sign my name in this book um, and I would like you to read it and sign your name and I would like to see how far we can get this book, but I'll talk a little bit more about that later. But for right now, um, let me kind of dive into what this book is about and, uh, and, and we'll go from there. Before I get started, know that this book is not aiming to discredit or call enemy to your beliefs or your ideas. What it does is it provides warning. You see, Timothy Snyder, uh, who is a professor of history at Yale, recounts the moments that democratic societies in the 20th century in Europe saw their very last election and the events that led up to it. And I, and I really want to read one paragraph just to give you a little bit more of an idea on, on a, what this book is about, um, the way Timothy uses his storytelling ability to kind of flash back to real world politics today and what we're seeing in our own lives right now. So this is chapter three and it's called Beware the One Party State. Thomas Jefferson probably never said that eternal vigilance is the price of liberty. But other Americans of his era certainly did. My name is Alexander Hamilton. When we think of this saying today, we imagine our own righteous vigilance directed outward against misguided and hostile others. We see ourselves as a city on the hill, a stronghold of democracy, looking out for threats that come from abroad. But the sense of the saying was entirely different that human nature is such that American democracy must be defended from Americans who would exploit its freedoms to bring about its ends. Do you think you're a moral person? I'm a business person. So there are two big reasons why I think this book is worth the read. And number one is that it's factual. It does not spark conspiracy or speculate the intentions of others. It provides 20 chapters, two to four pages each, discussing and providing context into the lessons learned from Europe during the 20th century. And the second one, it, it reminds me what the United States is all about. Now, maybe I'm just speaking out of my ass. I don't know, okay? But it's a good book. Um, hopefully, uh, some of you are kind of uh, intrigued to read this. Now, if you are, I am willing to send you this book to read for free. I will, f I will, I will ship it to your house. I wanna see how many people I can get to read this book before November. Um, hopefully, I can fill this thing with, with a bunch of names. So, uh, yeah, let me know if you're interested. If you're not, cool. If you are, sick.